It is my pleasure now to welcome our commencement speaker, Stephen Kuskowski. Stephen played in the NFL for 15 seasons. For most of his football career, he played with the New England Patriots and is the franchise's all-time leading scorer. In fact, when he comes up here to give his speech, look at the Super Bowl ring on his hand. It's, it's hard to miss. Of course, he played football right here at the University of Memphis and was drafted by the Patriots in 2006. In his last season, he played for the Tennessee Titans. He received his Bachelor of Science in Education from the College of Education in 2006. Please help me welcome our commencement speaker, Mr. Stephen Guskowski. All right, what's happening? Hey, the, I did this earlier this morning and the first crowd was off the chain, so let's try to keep up with them. Let's cheer on these uh, graduates and congratulate them for all the hard work they had. So let me get on with my speech. I stand up here today deeply honored to stand before you on this momentous occasion. First and foremost, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. Graduating from college is no small feat. It is a testament to your hard work, dedication, and resilience. So take a moment to bask in the glow of your achievements because you've earned it. The work is done, vibes are high, hope is in the air, and the champagne is already on ice. So let's have a day. As I stand here today, I can't help but reflect on my own journey. You see, my path to this podium was anything but conventional. Back in 2006, when I was drafted in the NFL by the New England Patriots, I faced a decision that ultimately led me to miss my own college graduation ceremony. Allow me to share that story with you. Fresh off being drafted, I found myself at a rookie minicamp in Foxborough, Massachusetts, under the watchful eye of legendary coach Bill Belichick. Towards the end of camp, Coach Belichick came up and talked to us, us rookies, and he said, look, guys, the NFL says we have to let you go to your college ceremony and you can miss practice. So I thought that meant he didn't want us to go. So I opened up my dumb mouth and said, nah, coach, graduation ceremonies are pretty lame. I'll see you at practice. And then I'll never forget his reaction because the guy doesn't smile too much. He smiled from year to year, just like the Grinch. And he said, good choice, Steve. <laughs> now I'm the one sitting up here at this podium, so that makes me the lame one now. <laughs> All jokes aside, little did I know that I would come to regret this choice. It's a decision I carry with me to this day, as a reminder of the importance of cherishing every achievement, big or small. That experience taught me a valuable lesson about the significance of milestones and the importance of embracing every opportunity for celebration and reflection. Graduation is not just about receiving a diploma, it's about commemorating years of hard work, growth, and transformation. See, Memphis holds a special place in my heart. It's where I discovered my passion, forged lifelong friendships, and even met a beautiful nursing student named Hallie in Dr. Bigger's anatomy and physiology class. Hallie is now my wife of 16 years, and we share four amazing kids together. My journey to Memphis was not what I expected. It wasn't my first choice, but it was a college that was perfect for me. Sometimes life has a funny way of guiding us to exactly where we need to be, even if we don't realize it at the time. Throughout my NFL career, I've had the privilege of learning from some of the best in the game, from Coach Belichick and Tom Brady's meticulous attention to detail to the unwavering commitment of my teammates. Each experience taught me invaluable lessons that extend far beyond the football field. One such lesson is passion. Find what sets your soul on fire and pursue it relentlessly. Passion is the fuel that drives us to overcome obstacles, push boundaries, and achieve greatness. Basically, it just helps you put up with all the BS of having to work. So find that passion. Another crucial, crucial lesson is resilience. Failure is inevitable, but it's how we respond to adversity that defines us. Learn from your setbacks, grow from your challenges, and emerge stronger than ever before. The third lesson I learned about is pressure. We're all gonna come into having some kind of pressure in our lives. Look at it as a privilege. Pressure is a privilege, embrace it. It's a sign that you're entrusted with important responsibilities and opportunities to make a meaningful impact. Use pressure as motivation to excel and exceed your expectations. Above all, my wish for you is to cultivate a mental toughness. Life is unpredictable and you'll undoubtedly face moments of fear and uncertainty. Stay focused, stay positive, and stay true to yourself. Trust in your abilities and never underestimate the power of perseverance. 
As you embark on this new chapter of your lives, remember to stay humble, stay grateful, and stay hungry. Success is not just about achieving your goals, it's about the journey it takes to get there. Embrace every challenge, savor every victory, and never lose, lose sight of the values that guide you. In closing, I wanna leave with you one final thought. Life is hard. Don't make it harder than it has to be. Life has twists and turns and highs and lows. Embrace the adventure, cherish the moment, memories, and never stop striving for greatness. And at the end of the day, you can have all the talent and knowledge in the world, but that will only get you so far. You have to marry those talents and knowledge with a strong work ethic. Nothing will get you further in head in life than a strong work ethic. Life is a marathon, not a sprint, so go out there and work your butt off, and don't forget to have some fun along the way. Congratulations, graduates. The future's yours. Go out there and make it count. Thank you, and go Tigers!